All right, my lovelies, we are here. Wise Working Women, October of 2023. We're going to now move from the energy we just set with the intentions of how our work and life can harmonize together. And we had some amazing intentions from allowing love and empowerment to come through, feeling more excitement in your expansion, having more self-trust and being outrageous. We're just a few. To me, many of these intentions are the intention that I had for today, which is to follow your intuition. When you follow your intuition, your wise woman that you are listening to, what's meant to be really does flow through. I think as we had the card pull that we just pulled from one of my new, I call it my goddess deck, when I want to listen to my inner goddess, was the winds of change. You know, a change is in the wind. And I think for many of us, there's changes going on in society right now as we move into the fall season, the holiday season. There might be for some of us changes happening in our relationships or in our businesses. I have been having so many conversations with people recently where some form of change is occurring. It could even be the change of you knowing you want more. You want to do more powerful work in the world. You want to impact more people. Um, you want to have more clients. You want to have more fun and have more um, powerful relationships. But for all of us, I think something's bubbling up and something's brewing. And so for me, it's how can we make that strong in the structures and strategies? It can be very easy to say there's something we want, we set an intention. And then like a book, it just sits on the bookshelf. It really does require you in your humanness to go out and take the action consistently. How many of us get that squirrel syndrome? Squirrel, squirrel, I want to do this now. I want to do this. Oh, that sounds fun. That sounds exciting. I'll go off. And sometimes our inner goddess, our inner wisdom is just asking us, stay the course, commit to what you intended. And all those other things that have been sparking you, they'll have their time to come. And so I encourage you as we go through this particular chakra that I'm going to focus on today is that you really trust your intuition and make sure that it's not your inner squirrel or your inner, I call it the shiny penny syndrome. It's like, oh, well, now I want to go here. I want to do this. Make sure that your intuition is always guiding to what you truly should commit to. And commitment requires consistency and persistency. And so that's where we're going to go to today as I share um, my slides. And we're going to explore a little bit more about this. So as we see here, um, we are exploring the chakra system that is the signature system of wise working women. Now, many of this is intellectual property of wise working women. So if you're interested in sharing this with others, uh, just make sure that you do reach out to me for permission so that me as a business owner can honor all of my gifts I get to share. And it also shows you, you probably have phenomenal, amazing intellectual property that you possess and you stand in your own power of the gifts you get to share. So our chakras allow us to be sourced by wisdom so that we awaken inspired action. And today we're focusing on the third eye chakra. You'll see it there. It's housed right in between our eyebrows and it is the energy of intuition. If you see to the right, really the affirmation to really open up the chakra is listening to your inner voice and knowing that it is there. Trusting that the voice you're listening to is your wisdom. Our intuition doesn't yell, kick, or scream. Our intuition doesn't constrict us into fear and worry. It is actually in Chinese medicine, something I have practiced in many of my wellness uh, modalities I offer my clients, is that line right there, which we all have, I have one too. They call it in Chinese medicine, the worry line. Well, the worry line blocks your intuition. And so often when we worry, we scrunch in between our eyebrows and energetically we block off, we constrict listening to our intuition. So worry is the major clogger of intuition. So I encourage you to think about that now as we look now onto the next focus of how often are you letting worry clog up your own intuition? And so a few different tips that I have here for you, and we'll then get a little diver, diving deeper into the journal questions, which I'll have my lovely assistant drop into the chat, is first, the essential oil that I picked for today is actually one of my favorite oils to release worry. It's called the Reassuring Blend. 
And it is an essential oil that has everything. It softens any fear. The floral oils, it's almost like they open up our heart. They soften us to feel safe. When we're worried, a lot of times we're not feeling safe. It's got grounding oils like vetiver, which vetiver I love for overwhelm and anxiety. It gets us grounded. When we feel more grounded, we feel secure, there's less worry. On top of that, it has a few other things like frankincense. It has um, spearmint and clary sage. So clary sage is all about the feminine energy. Spearmint is a mint, which opens up, open us up to expansion. Can't even say it because I feel so open. <laughs> so peace, reassurance, third eye chakra, release, worry. That will activate your intuition. This breath that I have here called Nadi Shodna is a phenomenal breath to help balance the right and left hemispheres of your brain. It's something in yoga that we use. Thumb closing off right nostril, ring finger closing off left nostril and breathing up. You close both sides of your nose, then you release and you breathe down. So you're constantly going up only one nostril and then down the opposite nostril. This helps the right and left hemispheres of your brain work together. So often we get stuck in our fear-based brain in that worry and it becomes a snowball effect. Nadi Shodna opens us back up to the present moment, clears out any worry, any overwhelm so that we can unlock our third eye chakra again. I tend to notice once that I've done this breath, even for just a minute, that my face feels softer. My muscles don't feel as tense. So it also is a nice breath to massage out muscular tension as I find it. So I want you to think about now some questions to journal. How is this chakra, your third eye chakra, open? Where do you feel like you are listening to your intuition? Maybe give a few examples. How is this chakra blocked? Do you feel like you're worrying about things or do you feel like you're focusing on the things that actually aren't going to get you to where you want to go? Do you feel like you have that shiny pen dream, uh, penny syndrome or the squirrel? syndrome as they call it and you there's all these things you want to do and you have trouble getting focused and then number three what is the support or the action steps that can help you to align your chakra for me to get out of this land of the worry or the overwhelm most of the time requires someone else it requires me to be with others Wise Working Women is about community medicine, as I call it. And sometimes just being in the space of other people can easily get us out of our own unraveling, can help this wind of change that might be coming through, make it a little more easy. So what support or what action steps? And I'm going to give us a couple moments to jot a few things down. What I encourage you to do for this is this is a beginning point, a bullet point of these three questions. In a moment, you're gonna go into a breakout room and start a conversation about these questions. But I encourage you to see this as just the beginning. Take some time, maybe this week, next week, to dive deeper into these. I'm gonna be having some opportunities where I'll be holding space for some women to have conversations around stuff like this. Maybe there's women that you know, whether they're it's your coach, your, your mentor, or a friend that you would wanna dive deeper in. I'm going to take the slide off now as you're taking that time to journal, and we'll be setting up the breakout rooms for those of you that are here live so you can have those conversations. If you're here in our Total Wellness Women group, no, give yourself that time to have these journal questions open up for you, and then no, write a comment or connect with me privately if something opens up for you. So I'll give us a couple moments to do that as I create your breakout rooms. All right, so I'm going to open up the breakout rooms. Uh, we're going to come back a little after the top of the hour. 
So I'll have a little about eight minutes to have some conversations. I might give us a couple more so we get a full 10. You'll know when the breakout rooms are going about to close, I will send you a little message. But you'll have two to three people in each breakout room. You're going to get an invitation now to join. Know that whoever you're with was exactly the right person to be with. And go have some conversations. I'll prompt you when it's time to come back and just be in the space of letting each woman share. Have fun, everyone, in your breakout rooms. Now, those of you that are here live in the private Facebook group, those lovely ladies are in their breakout rooms having these conversations. I want to open up the floor for you to have these conversations as well. So as I mentioned, jot anything down in the chat box. Give yourself the space to see what serves you with these questions around our lovely third eye chakra. Our intuition is what really, really guides us into our next step. And I'm excited to share with so many of the women here at Wise Working Women, as well as many of you, you've probably noticed a few changes in the wind here. Tracy's Total Wellness is going through a rebrand. And really what we're doing is we've moved neighborhoods. We've moved neighborhoods in a way for the expansion to occur. And at Tracy's Total Wellness, I have created a stronger container in my business to allow for this expansion. For me, that allows this wisdom, wisdom of my goddess and the wisdom of all the other women's goddesses, that wise woman, that truly remarkable, powerful woman that's inside gets to step out more, gets to take empowered action, gets time for herself to be loved and taken care of so she can feel nurtured to then go nurture. It really allows women to get the opportunity to know when it's time to step out and serve and when it's time to step in and to surrender to self a little bit more. The experiences at Wise Working Women will be offering these two different options maybe harmoniously together, or if you're feeling like you're on a step out journey, you can move that way. If you're feeling like you're a step in journey, you get to surrender in that way. This expansion is beginning with many different things. Keep an eye out for everything that is coming in Tracy's Total Wellness. You'll be seeing some opportunities for more deep intensive retreats from three to five day retreats. In places like Costa Rica, we're looking at Sedona, Italy, the woods and the mountains up north and back here, the ocean down south. There'll be many opportunities now to really retreat, find your inner goddess, allow her to be nurtured. The Wise Woman Academy, the enrollment is open for that, where we use the chakra system to help you to learn how to powerfully, powerfully lead more. Whether you're leading your business, you're leading groups of people, you want to lead more powerfully in your family or in your community. It is an amazing experience where each month a specific chakra is a focus and you learn how to lead from that chakra. I'm leading right now from my throat chakra, sharing with you powerfully my mission and my message and making an invitation to you. Many of these things are experiences women want, and they want the content to then begin to lead themselves. This experience of the Wise Woman Academy is an ever-revolving experience, but the only way to step into the experience is with an application and a call with me to see if it's something that's aligned. You're going to see information, so if you're interested, feel free to either personally reach out to me or I will drop the link to fill out the application to see if the academy is an alignment for you. Get ready. We have Wise Working Women, the traditional ones coming up November 2nd and December 7th. And then next year, Wise Working Women is also going to be in a new neighborhood. And I'll have more to come with that as the year closes out. Have a great October. Trust your intuition, all my lovelies. And it's always an honor to be with you. Be well.